A very gigantic welcome to good afternoon to all our friends, viewers, and students. Accept my heartiest gratification today once again the topic under discussion, which was last time I elaborated a little bit, but today I'll tell in detail, and that's life. William Shakespeare said that uh, love is just like a stage, and we all are actor and actresses, and uh, we perform our role, and then do we departure. Another definition of Shakespeare, Shakespeare said that uh, lives are just like a tale told by an idiot with full of joy and fury signifying nothing. So there are plenty of definitions about life and uh, today I will elaborate about some concrete and strong pillars of life. As um, we all know that uh, the first pillar in our life is God, G-O-D. So God stands for, the first letter stands for generator, G for generator, O for apparator, and D for destroyer. So I think that uh, the all characteristics are, is in the letter of God, and God is all the most powerful, almighty, superior, and we cannot neglect the existence of God in this world and universe. There are people who are pagan, infidel, non-believer, rationalist, communist. So they don't uh, believe that there's a God. And uh, actually the life is totally in dark. And uh, whenever they have some problems, whenever they have some tension, frustration, anxiety, or any kind of the mind-boggled situation, they have no one. But thanks to God, that whenever we think about God, our half of the problems, more than 80% problem, solves automatically that God will do everything better and all right. This is the criteria that when we are having the strong, firm faith belief about God, our life will become easier. So, as uh, we all know that uh, this world, universe, galaxies, each and everything, the God generated, the God created, and God is operating, and finally, end state, doom state, and uh, judgment day, it will just destroy each and everything, and uh, it's always written in the holy books. God revealed holy books, almost sent 1,24,000 prophets in different times period for the clarification of his existence. And that's why religion is also playing a very vital and important and integral part in our lives. After that, I have to say about the parents. Uh, the concept of parents, the concept of teacher is also good uh, for the best approach in our lives. And uh, uh, I must say that uh, if you have good teachers, obviously you have a very balanced society. And uh, uh, when the parents uh, send us to school, college, university, then we learn many things from our teachers and I salute to my teachers because uh, whatever I obtain uh, in my life just because of my teachers they groom, they polished, they make us a better person in the society and uh, I think that uh, we must not forget if we are doctor, professor, engineer, bureaucrats, lawyers, judge uh, or army officer uh, all credit goes to the teachers because uh, through those teachers, uh, they, uh, they made our foundation and that's why we are the integral part of this society. So always respect your parents and always respect your teachers. Uh, after that, uh, my dear, is that in our life there must be education. Because education enlightens your soul, enlightens your mind and does that what it's the concept of this life, otherwise uh, you are totally in dark. You're totally in dark. So this is the way that education is much important and uh, uh, seek the knowledge, even if it's in China, it is the holy sayings of Prophet, uh, peace be upon him. And uh, we have to believe on that, that uh, knowledge, education, these are the very concrete uh, parts in our lives and uh, we must obtain it at any cost uh, from anywhere, from any, from anyone, from any person. So there must not be any hesitation if you're getting or obtaining knowledge 
uh, you can get it without any uh, shyness. That's my strong suggestion for all of you. Through education and knowledge, you can make your dream come true in this world and see reality. And that's why I'm saying that you have to obtain as much as education, as much as knowledge, because it will uh, always very useful throughout your life. After uh, this, I will talk about feelings. There are two types of feelings. One is positive, one is negative. Positive feeling led us towards care, and care led us towards love, and love is life. As negative feeling led us towards hate, frustration, anxiety, depression, and finally will become evil in the society, in this world. I have to give an example of Hitler, that he was having a negative feelings and he just destructed the world. And the World War First, World War II is based on the negative feelings, negative actions. So I think we have to go positive one because we need peace in this world, in our lives as well. So that's why I say about uh, care and love. Love is life. Love is everything. As uh, philosopher Romy once said that there are many different ways to reach to the God. But what I have chosen for myself, there's a way of love. And obviously, love is a great thing. And this entire world and uh, universe created by God on the basis of love, not on the basis of hatred. So that's why that uh, you have to have in your life a lot of space, a lot of love for others. And uh, this is the cry of the day as well. After that, I will say honesty. Honesty is the best policy, always say, be honest towards your nation, be honest towards your relation, be honest to, uh, towards your students, be honest to your society, be honest to your world, be honest to your country, be honest to your state. And that's the honesty uh, which gives a great result in this world. And uh, obviously, after that, I will talk about that uh, work. Work is like a worship. Uh, because uh, you are not known by your name, by your height, by your skin, by your color. You are always known by your work. Like you are a doctor, you are an engineer, you are a scientist, uh, you are a bureaucrat, or uh, you are a religious scholar. So that's your work, which always give you name, fame, and wealth as well. So I think that uh, work is very important don't sit idle uh, because uh, if you sit idle you will just generate a bad society and uh, your society is always uh, accepted and will touch the peak if our youngster our generation our public our people they always consider that work is ultimate option for success in this world and hereafter as well so your work must be positive not negative like uh, sometimes you're working but you're working half-heartedly and that's not good uh, it's same like a worship like if you are doing worship with full concentration with full concentration your worship will be accepted by God same if you're doing work by all by your heart and uh, you are doing it with honesty so that will matter a lot and the people will uh, appreciate society will appreciate and your inner conscious uh, will always be uh, appreciated good so this is the way that uh, work is also an integral part in our life so do something never sit idle get a lesson from and uh, if you see and all the time at work I think going here and there and just uh, giving the signal towards uh, other ants that uh, go and reach to that destiny and do work 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 and all the whole life I am watching uh, ants uh, that doing work not sitting idle so that's why I'm just uh, getting this lesson from ant that do work do work and do work uh, if you want to be uh, Famous, if you want to be uh, satisfied and get inner satisfaction in your heart, just do work. Never stop yourself. Um, as uh, 
work also give us a lot of money and money is honey no money no funny so money is also having a uh, prospects one is legal one is illegal money so go for the legal because uh, it will comfort your soul and if you're going for the illegal money uh, it will not give you that much satisfaction or always you'll be feel guilt for inner side of your heart so i think uh, money is also an integral part of life but money is not everything uh, relations are more important than money i've seen many people in this world they had and they have a lot of money but finally when we see them so they are looking forward for the relations like uh, they are fed up from the money money cannot buy the happiness uh, or satisfaction of heart this is only uh, you can say we must not go for that much materialistic approach that we forget each and everything and we will come selfish having much much uh, money in your life can make you uh, selfish and money actually gives us a lot of options and when you have a lot of options so obviously you'll damn care about other people for example a person is that much rich he has a mobile he has car he has bamboo he has a, a broad a trip and a, he has a lot of uh, other community and he and he damn care about other public and other people because he has option when you have limited options in your life obviously you become honest and if you have more option in your life and money gives you option uh, you'll become drinker and uh, you'll become uh, a bad person maybe you'll go towards immoral activities uh, because you have a lot of money and uh, obviously it leads us towards uh, destruction uh, selfishness and uh, obstinate and uh, you'll become uh, arrogant as well and uh, you will not meet with people all by your heart and uh, you will not give the time to the public because uh, you think that you're a big thing but you're nobody because when we departure from this world and we have only grave and lucky people uh, if you are lucky we will have grave otherwise uh, i don't think so that uh, and many people in this world they uh, passed away even not having their graves so may god uh, may god uh, forgive us about what uh, we have pollution in our mind and uh, after that uh, i will talk also about that uh, uh, the important thing in our life is about uh, patience and tolerance uh patience and tolerance uh, because uh, this is uh, uh, this is totally connected uh, with our actions that if we are angry and anger is basically uh, a satanic power so you just control your anger by having patience by having tolerance and these things uh, now society uh, lost such kind of a things uh, now people are impatient and uh, they have impatience all the time they are in hurry so good people uh, they they have patience and they have tolerance and tolerance is the key of success anywhere everywhere so have patience you will have good time in your life uh, the pain you're going through is temporary but if you quit it will last forever so that's why never give up in your life and this is my suggestion uh, if uh, we think about that uh, uh, meditation uh meditation means having concentration and uh, this is a practice through which uh, you can uh, receive a lot of things in your brain and uh, you can obtain a lot of knowledge head knowledge secret uh, secrets will be revealed uh, when you will have the practice of meditation and uh, meditation led you towards uh, spirituality spirituality is very important do good things good deeds uh just uh, pay alms, charity, help the poor. It's very important also in our lives because uh, we have to help those who are totally deprived in this world and society. And uh, this is my suggestion that uh, if you have uh, power and if you have money and you have brain, uh, you have to just utilize such things in order to help the humanity. And humanity is the best thing on the planet. And uh, human, hum humanity, humanitarian approach humanism and we all are human and we must go for such things or such practices because it gives you the satisfaction of your heart so after that uh, 
you can say also that one is uh, eternal life means uh, immortal life hereafter life in doomsday so you have to do some practice a good practice here on the basis of such practices you'll get a good uh, reward in paradise in uh, doomsday in final day so this is the overall things which I've mentioned and uh, almost time circumstances also involved in life and I must say that uh, the most powerful thing about time is it changes so don't worry uh, if you're passing through a bad time it will also change so have patience in your life and uh, have tolerance in your life and wait uh, learn how to wait and if you'll wait uh, good things come to those who wait it's also reality and finally I want to end uh, this conversation this uh, lecture uh, by saying a beautiful uh, quotation uh, my soul is not contained within the limits of my body my body is contained within the limitlessness of my soul so thanks a lot for hearing uh, this lecture or listening this lecture so may God bless you and take care of yourself love you too much